the china situation i'll i'll, I'll start with mr forbes a uh, lot of conjectures lot of apprehensions right now uh, there is you know there are simmering tensions in the border how do you see this panning out and if it actually takes a turn for for the worse how is it likely to impact the sector so you know it's a uh, one can understand the emotions involved uh we we see this i think correctly as uh, uh, an act of great aggression uh, as something that needs to be pushed back very forcefully on the military side um but we should i think keep in mind that uh, uh, we need to win we don't necessarily need to be right and be seen to be right all the time so we should keep in mind what the numbers are the numbers say that uh, china is our second largest trading partner as our second largest trading partner we export around 15 billion dollars a year to china uh, we import from china around 75 billion dollars a year most of this 75 billion dollars of what we import are manufactured goods and these are manufactured goods very often consumer goods uh, that get consumed bought by indian consumers so if you look at what's happening in these days i mean you know today yesterday uh, we see delays taking place in consignments coming into the country we see extra inspections we see a move to shift let's say the traditional port that is used for goods that come in from china chennai uh, shifting it to the west coast um we should keep in mind what is the, what is this going to achieve it may make us feel good but will it actually achieve anything substantive and by delaying imports uh, do we benefit ourselves uh, or do we just feel good about causing trouble in the broad area uh, of uh, uh, of of a of a country that we see um, correctly i think as uh, an aggressor so i think keeping that in mind instead of saying that look you know how do we win uh, we should i think target our actions around that and if we say how do we win yes can we diversify our sourcing away from china we should can we do it overnight no we can't can we do it over the next couple of years we probably can so how do we go about doing it over the next couple of years where the first that any chinese manufacturer discovers that we're actually moving away from them is when they don't see orders we don't need to announce it and be seen to be doing it so visibly uh, otherwise that will i think only end up hurting us ourselves